Amsterdam. Fucking here, aren't I? Tell me what takes you higher. I am sitting here in Greenhouse Coffee Shop in Amsterdam, rolling up some kosher dog, which is kosher kush crossed with star dog. Just had my first joint on the trip, and uh, I'm feeling good. I'll keep you guys updated. This kosher dog has got quite a lot of pin end in it. It's got a really piney taste, and through the vaporizer, it tastes really fresh. Really, really nice. Graham's gone. That didn't last very long. It is all gone. It's gonna get another gram. Look at the hotel oh room. <laughs> very nice. Can you imagine having a zoo on that balcony? That'd be yeah. sweet. Currently uh, stopping for a food break and then we are back to another coffee shop. I am uh, definitely feeling the effects of this guys. White fire OG. Nice one. Two degrees. It is two degrees out. Still having a great time. I really like this little stealthy bomb. Yeah. Morning in Amsterdam. Finally got hold of one of these. And uh, sort of me right out. Smoking splits all day and I haven't been that stoned until I had that. Also picked myself up this. Got the greenhouse, grind up. Got my micro bong. And we've got the big bong that they've kindly lent us. The boost ice bong. Just did a nice bong of some Argent's strawberry kush in that. That is absolutely done the trick. Smoked some cookies kush from Barney's earlier. Crystals on that are fantastic. And this silver bubble from the, the infamous grey area. Really small in there. It was a great shop but it didn't have much space and it was really busy. So they've got good weed and they've sold out of their grey whatever the grey uh, thing that won the indica unique cup so I couldn't try that unfortunately but they were a nice bunch of guys in there anyway this is I think I don't know what this is I think this must be the Liberty Haze yeah this is the Liberty Haze and uh, out of all the weed that we picked up today, probably the least favourite. Smells lovely, but when you smoke it in a joint, you get some sort of maybe nutrient taste or I don't know, it's not not the best. But yeah, that's been the day so far guys, I'll keep you updated. Nice one. How you doing guys? You catch me in my hotel room toilet. Oh, so close. Just pull this, little glass piece. This is what I'm going to be doing. Almost what I just broke on the camera. Which probably would have made a good video. Yeah. I'm in Amsterdam and uh, repping the Hampshire Cannabis Community t shirt. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Take two.
That was tasty. Really, really tasty. Just looked out the window, saw a reception downstairs. Don't think this is allowed, so that's why I blew it out the window. Doing it on the sly, but with the bong, it's really discreet. Nobody knows what you're doing, and uh, really enjoyed that, guys. So glad you could join me. Pick up yourselves, and uh, as always, keep talking. Day two. Here we have a one gram joint of AK-47 because uh, I wanted to try it. So I am live from Dampering Coffee Shop and I've been sampling some of their AK-47 which is an indica cannabis strain. It has got me feeling good, rolled a gram into a joint, smoked it all in one go. It was only 10 euros which here is uh, very cheap compared to some of the other weed that I've been buying which is more along the lines of 18 euros a gram which is bloody ridiculous, I wouldn't pay that in the UK. Um, but yeah, this gram joint has got me feeling good, bought myself a little bong for while I'm out here so at night time that's what we're using um, which is really really fun and uh, yeah enjoying it so far guys other bits of weed that I've got I've got some Jack Hera which is really really nice really medicinal I bought this from Greenhouse this was 12 euros a gram and I've got some uh, Liberty Haze which I'm really not impressed with I had some better Liberty Haze in the UK by quite a long way um, and some silver bubble from grey area. This stuff is wicked, this is what I'm going to smoke next. Um, it is a really strong sativa. And then uh, got in my vaporizer, I've got some white fire OG, which is uh, again from greenhouse, really, really strong, but it didn't really taste like that much, so I, put it up, I thought I'd put it in the vape pen, get the flavor profile, um, and uh, yeah, really, really nice. It's, uh, it's better when you vape it for flavor wise, but out of all the buds I've smoked, it's not been one of the best so far. There's some good weed out here guys, it's expensive, um, but yeah, nice strains, nice flavours. still think that we're getting stuff like this in the UK which is great to, great to know, great to sample and uh, be able to compare and uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated guys, nice one. Keep talking. This blueberry kush is fucking amazing. Second favorite weed I've had out here. Joint number three. Strawberry something. Strawberry silver haze. Silver silver strawberry. I'm trying to keep the sativas to the morning. I'm not going to smoke them at night. We were on our way to the Wright Museum, but 
we found this uh, old church coffee shop, so got some master cushions dead. It's too busy for a photo, but you get the picture. I Amsterdam! This OG Kush is going in the zoot. It's starting to feel a little bit baked, guys. Don't even know what the time is, but I'm feeling good. I'm currently in Barney Uptown in Amsterdam and uh, just been smoking on some of the blueberry kush that I reviewed earlier. And it's a really, really nice hybrid strain. Indica dominant, but it's got that fruity and uh, yeah, sativa sort of undertones because I feel really happy and really uplifted as well. Um, as you can see from my eyes, quite medicated and I am having a great day, guys. So just wanted to update you as part of the Amsterdam trip video. Some Jack Hera from uh, Damp Kring, really crystally. Yeah, and this is sad in this day and age. No, but it's not. Yeah. I'm really I'm really scared. 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 I'